Good morning. Welcome to next video on SCADA World YouTube channel. Today we will talk about the combo box and I will show you how to manage the combo box using Visual Basic script. First of all, the combo box is from Smart Objects in WinCC V7. I will make the object name combo box one without any spaces between. And for example, let's go to change some geometry and things. We have the number of rows. At this moment, we have three rows only. We don't change any colors, any styles, any font. When we go to index and text, we can trigger that text number two is two and number three is three. Is as you see, selected box and selected text is the thing. When you make the WinCC runtime running, you can select some things. In this field, you can read data from. Okay, so let's start this WinCC runtime. And now you see that my combo box has three rows. I have one, two and three. Okay, so we don't know how to manage this. Let's change also the text. So we will see in the WinCC runtime that we can change these elements in WinCC editor. Okay, let's save and WinCC runtime. Okay, as you see the text we can update using WinCC editor. But what in case we want to use the button? For example, I want to push this button and I want to configure this combo box using one script. Let's say it will be write data to my combo box element. This combo box element we can make as the object in our WinCC Visual Basic using this name. So let's go to press left visual basic action and this action we need to configure some internal tags we need to declare the object and this object will be our screen items from this window so it's a screen items combo box one okay we don't have any errors Okay, so now I want to push this button and change the parameters of my combo box. So I need to declare this object combo and create some elements. Okay, oh, I forgot about the set objects. So I need to put the number of lines. Until now we had three lines in our object. From now we will have ten lines and let's make one for loop and in this for loop I will write data into combo box so this combo box will be prepared to work We have additional tag counter. This counter will be incremented every time our four is running. So my cell index will be just the counter and cell text it will be something like from X and I will add some text so we will see this text inside VCC runtime. It's just the string. So we can use this combo box to select something from our system to give possibility to our operator to send some recipe, some data into different kind of elements into PLC program or something. Now object combo, I need to select the first row. 
and I want to push the counter. Now my counter should be starting from 1, so we will go from 1 to 10 and my counter is counter plus 1. Ok, so we have our script ready to test. We can go and test this script in runtime. Ok, so we have our default combo box with 1, 2 and 3. Now let's push this right to combo and we see that our combo is modified by this script. I have x, I have 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 and I have static text on the suffix of this object. Ok, so we did the script. Let's make a little bit uh, change, changes in this object, in the script, so we can make more personalized. I just copy to my second button. I want to push this index for one. And let's say my second button will give the Y before our static text. Ok, so we have default combo box, we have X combo box and we have Y combo box. Everything is working in one combo box, so we can make many buttons with different kind of options and one operator can work with combo box. Ok, I need to make the selected index, so this one is the first row. So we will have the first static text in our combo box. As you see I have one x1 text and y1 text. Is it working as we wanted to have? Ok, thanks for watching, subscribe to this channel and see you in next week.